One of these days, you should come to my room after dark, maybe around 8 p.m. I want to show you something. Damn, <laughs> what a letter to get in the mail. That mail, that letter would have me excited as hell. Abigail said, pull up to my room after dark. I need to show you something. She's going to show me a bomb. I'm going to go there thinking it's something else. She's going to show me a bomb. And this is where the run ends. Abigail is going to show you her boyfriend. <laughs> no, Abigail, how could you do me so dirty? I gave Abigail amethyst. Then she said, how did you know I was hungry? This looks delicious. Yeah, I, that happened literally last stream. I gave her uh, a quartz. She's like, this looks so delicious. <laughs> she be eating them rocks, bro. I need to make me some cash. Let's get to it. This is the best way to make cash is fishing. She eats the rocks so she can make bombs. I don't know if that correlates, but yeah, I agree. We need to make some money. Not because I'm getting a wife and women are expensive, but it's because now that's kind of the reason I need money to buy a pendant. So let's hope a rainy day comes because I got to wait for a rainy day to buy the pendant to marry people. I have to remember to water my plants today and not with sea water this time. What a fucking dumbass. I need more dialogue in this game so I can just straight up diss people. Every time I talk to someone, I should be able to diss them. I'll send a little Jizzy to her new home right away. Yes, sir. Let's buy another one. I know I said uh, we need money for the amulet, but like, we're good. We're fine. We'll make we'll make the ends meet. Right now, I'm buying animals. Guckabell. I like that one. That's a good one. I like, I don't even need to change it. Caroline and I are good friends. I tell her everything. Caroline does not tell you everything. Like who Abigail's real father is. Door is interesting today, don't you think? Sorry, what the fuck kind of conversation was that? No talking skills whatsoever. Don't you have work to do? What the fuck is wrong with you? Who the fuck is this? Fat ass, go lose some weight, bitch. See, I didn't even want to have to go there, but she was the one fucking dissing me. Like, what the fuck? So many people are disrespectful in this goddamn town, bro. The first guy who milked a cow gotta be down bad as hell. Am I supposed to talk to her? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just like kind of in their home at night. Just just chilling in their home. Says eight hearts. After receiving a letter from Abigail, at the Pierre's general store between 8 p.m. and 10 p.m. when she's there. Note that you can enter the store from the outside after 9 p.m. But you can wait in Caroline's greenhouse and trigger the event by exiting to the kitchen. All right, well, I guess we do it tomorrow. We kind of like wasted half this day by just sitting in here. Go lay in bed with her. Thank you, Abigail, for wasting my goddamn time. I just want to remind you that Sardew Valley Fair is happening tomorrow. Don't forget to bring your nine items for the Grange display. Get ready. Tomorrow is the day I flex on the whole town. They're like, Casimir, where did you get all these goods from? I've barely been selling shit to Pierre, too, so Pierre is not going to have that many goods. Pierre is not going to have no iridium shit. Pierre knows that I only grow golden crops, not iridium ones. So he's not going to be able to flex Iridium on me. Goosebumps was a shit back in the day. You know what I used to always read? My bad, I'm moving my mic. Uh, you know what I always used to read? Was the uh, Goosebumps, like, choose your own adventure. That was the real shit right there. The ones where it'd be like, turn to page this page to continue your adventure. And there's like, it matters what page you choose. Like, cho it chooses your route depending on the pages you choose. Those were fire. If you choose to beat the wife, go to page 102 goes to page 102 only the real ones go to page 102 i remember when i was really young i was really into captain underpants those books were hard as a uh, the flipperama pages those were the real captain underpants shits right there where you flip the page back and forth to get like the animation uh, i don't know if you guys have ever read calvin and hobbs that's another book i fucked with calvin and hobbs is fire as fuck shout out my boy connor i think my boy connor is the one that showed me calvin and hobbs Wait, can I go back here? What in the fuck? How come nobody's ever told me about this? <laughs> Last time it was the train tunnel. Now there's a whole ass forest over here. Nobody has told me about this ever. I was thinking of Ook and Gluck. Now people were saying Ook and Gluck is what ended racism right there. Ook and Gluck was next level. Ook and Gluck ended segregation. God damn, 100? Oh my god. Do you know how much money we're about to make off of this shit, bro? You know how many racks and we still got 60? Throw those in there. Watch that. That's big money coming our way. 100 pieces of bones? That might be doable. Those quests right there might be doable. I may have 100 pieces of bones laying around. Not because I keep like dead bodies or anything anywhere. <gasps> Field snack. Let's go. Garbage snacks. Field snacks would have made the stew delicious. Absolutely not. We sabotaged the stew. That was bad too, because apparently, like, if you make the stew really good, doesn't like the overall prices of things. Like, you sell stuff for more, you buy stuff for less or some shit. Yeah. Hey, I was hoping you show up. I want to show you something. What's she about to show me? Zzz. She has a dick. <laughs> 
See, this is called a bomb. Nah. <laughs> See, this is called a spirit board. Have you ever used one? What are we doing? Put your hands on the planchette with me. Bro, we're contacting ghosts. There's too many white bitches in this town, bro. I should have got with Maru. Now the spirits will guide us towards a... My grandpa? Oh, shit. It's moving. Grandpa? The first letter is I. Heart. There's a heart on a Ouija board? <laughs> wow, look at it go. It's spelling out Kaz. I heart Kaz. Hold up, Grandpa. It's kind of weird, Grandpa. What? Oops, accidentally knocked over the board. <laughs> it's just a silly game. It doesn't mean anything. I um, have something to do. You have to go. Sorry. I'm thirsty. Was that, I don't know. Was that what he meant by putting up that symbol? Putting up that icon? He was thirsty? Technically, my character is thirsty, if you know what I mean. Grandpa loves me. I love you too, Grandpa. Thank you. Shout out, Grandpa. We'll say in this lore, my Grandpa is Ippo. And you may be like, who the fuck is Ippo? This is Kazmir. This is who we're playing as right here. We're playing as Kazmir. This is Ippo. And his name is spelled Hippo, but in French, they don't say H's in French. So he's called Ippo. This is our grandpa, okay? Ippo is dead. In this lore, Ippo is dead, but he's our grandpa. <laughs> That's the lore, all right? And we're playing as Kazmir. Just in case you've wondered who the fuck I've been playing as this whole time. Come on, it's Kazmir. How do you guys not know Kazmir? If you've been watching the channel for a while, you should know Kazmir at this one. He pops up everywhere. I don't know if I can ever officially make him the mascot, but artificially, he is the mascot, all right? Maybe we have to make some edits to him to officially make him a mascot. So obviously, he doesn't look as close as uh, the TV show he's from. He's from a French TV show, an old French TV show. And if you want to know like how I found him, I literally just found him one day like literally was just fucking around with like jirachi we were saying like some goofy ass names and then ipo came or uh casimir came up that's one of the like goofy names you said i looked up casimir and then a french tv show popped up and i was like this is perfect this is perfect look how much money we made god dang rex on rex on rex that's casimir making big money hi um, I just wanted to say sorry for acting so weird yesterday. You probably understand what happened. Uh, okay, bye. This bitch awkward as hell. This bitch awkward as hell. She's perfect for Casimir. Is his name Casimir, not Casimir? Well, that's for uh, copyright site. Uh, copyright sake. We say Casimir, not Casimir. See, I'm thinking ahead. Don't think I'm not thinking ahead about that. Who the fuck is this? That looks just like my character. That looks just like Casimir. Ha! You like that shit? Ha! Mammoth. That's right, pussy. <clears throat> Pierre is very serious about his grand display. He's been setting aside the best looking produce for weeks in prep. That's literally all my shit that I sold him. My store carries the very finest quality products in the whole valley. Please inspect my grand display closely and see for yourself. This is literally my shit. That's literally my stuff. Abigail, what's up? I already beat all the games. Now what? I'm telling you. Perfect matchup for Casimir. Play the slingshot game. Hell yeah. What the fuck? Shoot! What the fuck? <laughs> I had a nice rhythm going and then my shit just stopped shooting. 37 out of 39. Damn, times three. 224 star tokens. I'm gonna be there in no time. I killed that shit. Pam is a bitch. She's on the list of hated people. I'm not saying you gotta be nice to everyone you meet, but you don't gotta be an asshole. You know what I'm saying? Pam was just an asshole. I just came up to talk to her for like the first time in forever. She said, you shouldn't be walking around the town. It's like, Pam, you literally don't have a job. One of her jobs is to drive the bus to the desert. And she literally doesn't do that until you unlock it later on. That's why you live in a trailer home. And I live in an ever expanding fucking farm that I can create bigger whenever I want. Fucking bitch. She's just racist. You said bet all on green? I bet on green. You said wager all of them? I'll wager, I'll wager a hundred. But if I lose, I'm not playing this shit. Yeah, I'm not listening to you guys ever again. You know, I would have made a pretty good clown. <laughs> yeah, I believe so too. You already look like one. I come in about my job sometimes, but I do take pride in my work. Bro, you barely fucking work. Shut the fuck up about taking pride in your work. He works for like 30 minutes and he closes the store. 25% chance on wiki? Green is 25% and you guys made me fucking choose green. Holy shit, do you see the size of this fucking pig? That's the pig from Family Guy, bruh. The one that goes oink. Oh my god, that thing's as big as me. Green is 75%? Now how the fuck did I lose? On my first try to and I got the lower percent. Diamond in the middle. And then we got the iridium on the outside. 
Look what I got. Another diamond. <laughs> I put an eggplant in there. <laughs> now that's a fucking display. 200. No, 100. No way I lose twice in a row. 75% chance? Oh, that's a dub. I felt it. I felt that it was a W. Now we double it. And then if I win here, I t I'll take it all out. We're out of here. I'm taking my leavings. I'm taking my winnings. All right, fuck it. I'm putting 500. <laughs> I'm going orange and I'm putting 25. Let's see. I just have a feeling. Let's knock the orange out of the way here with a small gamble with a small amount. I should win here. See, I thought I could out game the system. 300. Watch. Now it's going to be orange because I tried to game the system. Never mind. <laughs> Do you guys think it'll be orange now? I I'm going to do an orange one, but I'm going to do like, let's do 37. Because <laughs> if we get an orange one, then that's a guaranteed green the next time. What the fuck? 800. <laughs> if it's fucking orange right here, I'm going to be so goddamn mad. <laughs> okay, we're good. I'm telling you, if I, if I calculate that, if I calculate the orange, that means the next one is guaranteed green. So watch this. This one's about to be orange for the first time in a while. I told you. I told you. And then now that we got the orange, we go green. Full, full amount green. Let's fucking go. <laughs> it's a guaranteed. It was a guaranteed green. Slurp. Mm, this is barbecue sauce is amazing. I'm trying to have Maru slurp on something else. Yeah, I wish I had a female slurping on my sauce. You know what I'm saying? My barbecue sauce that I've worked on, of course. Mm, I see you laying on a cot. It looks like a hospital. Caroline is there to keep you company while you recover. What a nice friend. Interesting. I see you and Abigail working together on a farm. You seem very pleased about something. The crystal ball has moved on. You're in combat. There's something dreadful bearing down on you from the dark, but you seem more than ready to face it. What in the fuck? I thought this was a nice, peaceful game about farming. You found a star drop. Your mind is filled with thoughts of making that money. Let's get it. Let's see the judging. Yes, sir. You see the diamonds. You see the diamonds, Mayor. Remember that one time I helped you find your underpants? Remember that, all right? Always keep that in your mind. Your grudge display has been judged. Return the mayor at Lewis for... I'm right next to him. Congratulations. You won first place with a rating of 96. Let's fucking go. Fuck you, Pierre. Your prize is a thousand star to... That's it? That's all I get? Bro, I already bought everything. I'm going big, baby. Oh my god. It's like I can't fucking lose. Old Mariner. I've got this old amulet to sell, but something tells me not ready. What do you mean I'm not ready for it? I had to really get her to the last heart? You can't just buy it like ahead of time right now? Bro, like, look. Like, what the fuck? She's my girlfriend. What do you think? <laughs> What else am I going to do? I'm going to break up with her now? Closed on Wednesdays. This is just this is just a gigantic L. This may be one of the biggest L's I've taken. Because we have to, we can only buy from that guy when it rains. So we got to wait for it to rain again. God damn it. <laughs> Curse that festival. That festival ruined everything. Pierre's the kind of guy to send another dude nudes and say they're his. What the fuck? <laughs> Remember that one dude who said my daughter loves diamonds? Yeah, Demetrius. I love diamonds too, Demetrius. I love diamonds too. Who the fuck says that? Like, out of all the things she's like, your daughter loves, like, dude says diamonds. <laughs> who doesn't love diamonds? What the fuck? I should tell Demetrius. I'd be like, I love head. What's he gonna say? <laughs> I just love this. You're the best cast. Yeah, I know. I know. Abigail. That time of the month, I'm assuming. That time of the month. I'll be, I'll be out of here. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. She said, thanks for the gift, Casimir. Abigail doesn't feel like talking right now. It's like, what the fuck? She just talked to me. What do you mean? <laughs> Haley really said Casimir got no drip. Look at Casimir. That boy dripping. Nah, low key, Casimir doesn't have drip. He needs a little bit more. I need to talk to Emily, but I need cloth. The only way to get cloth is to get sheep. The only way to get sheep is to have a big ass barn. It's like, it takes too much effort. Getting some bitches is just a metaphor. And once you can decipher that metaphor... That's when you really, quote unquote, get some bitches. I'm really glad you become part of our community. Of course, a 500. Damn, my boy Lewis always hooking me up. How much is this going to cost me, bro? Old man, ah, I can see it in your eyes. There be a special someone in your heart. Just so happens I'm selling a mermaid pendant. Give that to your intended and they'll know exactly what you mean. God damn, he just found that shit on the floor and charged me 5000 for it. Ye give me five gold, I give ye seashell I found on the floor. That guy's really running a business. Bro made that shit a minute ago and charged you 5k. That's what I'm saying. Abigail, are you okay? <laughs> Casimir, I'm alright. No, I've been practicing my swordsmanship for a while. Let's fight. We decided today would be the day I ventured to the caves. But I got scared. I couldn't do it. 
Let's fight. I guess I'm not as tough as I thought. You're safe with me. I get scared too. You're crying like a little baby. Stop. I get scared too. I guess we have something to lose. It's normal to be afraid. Hell yeah. Linus is going to fucking clap my cheeks if I faint down there. And take my shit. I definitely got to be scared to go down there. Kazimir, I, I really like you. And not just as friends. Not just as a friend. You know that, right? Yes, sir. We got a maiden, everybody. I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but I can't keep it in anymore. I felt this way for a long time. Yeah, I hope so. After all the fucking amethyst and shit I gave you, you know how much money those cost? You don't have to say anything right now. Let's just stay here for a while. Oh, damn. Is that a hug? A kiss? I can't tell. My character has a beak. Hold on, I gotta go talk to the little man. I made physical contact with a woman. Let's fucking go. Buford sleeping by the fridge. Wait until she meets Big Buf right here. Big Buf is really gonna just take her heart. If you could smash any video game character, who would it be? Like 90% of female protagonists in video games? I'll just be straight up. Like probably 95% of female protagonists. I think that's a safe answer for most of us. Like let me let me name like three female protagonists right now. Ready? Lara Croft. Modern day Laura Croft. Uh, Samus. I don't know. It's another thing. <laughs> somebody, give me somebody else. Like those two right there. Yeah, sure. Even old Laura Croft. She got kind of a weird looking face. You tell me you would smash old Laura Croft over new Laura Croft? I don't know about you. Tifa, ex Tifa, whatever the fuck her name is. Exactly. Like, I don't even need to say anything. Now, if you're asked what dudes I would smash for video games, number one would be Nathan Drake. <laughs> <laughs> Kratos <laughs> Crash Bandicoot Okay here I got a question With like Say like one of the Baddest Finest chicks Like she checks off All your things For like perfect girl Okay Let's start with that One of the Baddest Finest chicks Marks off everything For your perfect girl But she's a furry Are you guys not hitting? You guys are telling me You wouldn't hit? Cause some motherfuckers Be tripping over the zoologist bro Y'all acting like You're gonna get any action Like if a zoologist If the zoologist Came up to you And asked you right now Smash You guys are gonna be like Nah No you guys are not gonna Fucking say that You guys get no action Don't act like you Pounding fucking pussy And you're gonna deny Any chance that you get I don't wanna hear no cap In this fucking chat I know how the male mind works Okay I'm a fucking male Myself <laughs> Like nah uh, she got a tail like she's gonna give you tail bro i have a girlfriend bro i don't give a fuck you could be married just answer the fucking question <laughs> see look there you go eclipse so i have a girlfriend and i'd smash exactly ain't no way you're gonna say no if a cat girl asks you to fuck right now bro have you watched the new batman movie have you seen zoe kravitz in the new batman movie you tell me you wouldn't hit just because she got a little cat little cat fetish it was pretty funny we saw the fucking when we watched the batman movie we had some people behind us they were fucking hilarious. These dudes behind us, the first like scene, Zoe Kravitz pops up. There's like three, four dudes behind us. She's like, God damn. <laughs> I was fucking dying. I love those type of movie theaters where, like, the audience is live. Like, everyone's fucking talking and laughing, like, during funny moments and shit. When Batman was beating people's asses, they were like, God damn, he just got his ass beat. <laughs> I was fucking dying. Have you guys ever looked at, like, a Pokemon and ever went, like, damn, I want to smash that Pokemon? But then you're having troubles decide over the zoologist? I know you guys be looking at fucking ditto licking your lips when you look at ditto what about low punny now they were tripping when they made low punny bruh who was the horny ass developer at game freak that made low punny they were in the they were in the fucking development studio and somebody was like what if we made a sexy ass bunny pokemon with human like characteristics who the fuck was the dude at game freak literally the freak at game freak that decided that shit he said we all have different perspectives so smash whoever you want to smash okay fucking einstein is not a fucking big thing we're talking about <laughs> I'd smash the zoologist in her human form. What if she just switches forms? Like, what happens if it just hits nighttime? Are you going to be like, what the? Nah, I can't do this anymore. You're going to be like, yeah, whatever. I know how the human mind works. Don't act like you're special. <laughs> what if you end up liking it? <laughs> What if you like it more than you think? Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. It's time to upgrade our hoe. I'm not talking about Abigail either. I know one thing like anime is what they do. Like when their anime starts like taking like a plummet in views, they just start throwing like fan service all over the place. That's an L. You know you're taking an L once you gotta start doing that shit. Nothing wrong with a little fan service here and there. You know what showed that did fan service? Avatar. You guys remember the beach episode? They were wilding when they dropped that episode. There's no reason they should have 
Ty Lee looking like that in that episode, bruh. I'm just glad Boruto doesn't have fan service. What you mean? You weren't fucking with that spa episode in the first, in Shippuden? So that spa episode in Shippuden, bro, I forgot. Had everyone looking at Hanade differently in that shit, bruh. Let's propose. It's a rainy day. I gotta propose. It would be my honor to present you this mermaid pendant. <gasps> Exclamation points times three. I accept. Dot, dot, dot. I'll set everything up. We'll have the ceremony in three days, okay? Thank God I don't gotta do anything. Hey, hey, me married? I never thought this would happen. Why'd you say, hey, hey? We're gonna have a lot of fun together. I hope so. Are you bringing your hamster? I don't even want to click on her hamster. She got mad at me last time. <laughs> she said, don't you dare touch my fucking hamster. <laughs> nah, bro, I saw a, a cursed ass Instagram video the other day. It was just of this dude working out, right? And then I was like, well, what's going on? Is this dude working out and he was like recording this other person and then once i noticed it and then i read the comments i was like bro what is this video and the comments all the comments are like that dude has a, a horse dick am i dead it's the first time i ever died in this game and when i noticed it in the video i was like bro <laughs> <laughs> that was a cursed fucking video I watched. I found you unconscious in the mines. I was hunting for minerals. I almost stepped on your head. How the fuck were you that deep in the mines? I lost 1,400 gold. No. No. <laughs> no. My fucking sword. And the amethyst. My wife loves amethyst. <laughs> what the fuck? Made some good progress. Damn, look at that. We have iridium sprinklers. I'm supposed to get married today. Yes, sir. But that's for another stream. No. Says so for another stream. Fuck off. <laughs> I just force closed the game. I hope that doesn't do anything.